Okay, so as I said previously, I'm going to just be taking a lot from the Roy Ball Binance bot. So let's do the, we're going to create a list of symbols for arbitrage. And we're going to put this in def, initialize. So list of symbols equals, and then we're just going to do, similar to the previous video, we'll just put Ethereum to BTC for right now. Then we, I still want to keep this, uh, a welcome message so we're gonna do this one and we'll, and we'll just replace this with uh, Binance arbitrage crypto trader bot Python script alright so that's gonna give us a nice welcome message at the beginning so we'll also do this we'll keep the same functionality of try and accept so try pass and then we'll also do accept pass. So that way if we get any errors, it's just going to accept. So let's do a print failure initialize. Um, so that way if we get an error in the initialization, we'll get a printing of failure initialized to the screen, to the console output. Uh, so let's see coin and micro caps we don't we do want to save this historical data however we may want it in different formats so we're just going to skip over this for right now so let's do we'll keep some of this functionality I don't think we need the exchange info but we do want the exchange status and the oh wait we don't want this try statement we do want the status and the withdrawal history so we will keep that functionality so here's a test order this is going to give us our this is what I was using it to determine if we had a valid connection with Binance I'm not going to include that one for right now so we may want our coin tickers and our coin prices see here we go here's market depth this is ultimately what we're gonna want for our I'm just gonna take this over we do want this for our arbitrage so I'm just going to include this for right now and considering our list of symbol only has one then we're not in it's not too too much difficulty there so we have our recent trades, local time, historical trades, and we'll get these at some point later. So I do need this one, because this one is defined in our... So this, see in this one we're using market depth, so we want to make sure that we have that function involved. See, and you can see that this is our market depth function. So we don't want to do scalping orders. Um, visualizing market depth, I think, is going to be important. But f for right now, we'll just leave it out. I may add it at a later, later point. Um, although I think we do use it for our scalping function. But since we're not using the scalping function, then that's not too bad. So here we go. We we may want to keep this coin prices and coin ticker. I think this is the um, it says uh, order book, so that may be what we are order book tickers. That may be what we're looking for. But for right now, I think we got everything we really need from the Binance bot, and by just taking what we need we cut down the Binance bot from like 348 lines to just 117 and so we've got a function that will initialize the arbitrage it will print a welcome message it'll get a few important informations and then it's going to get our market depth so we're starting to get into our arbitrage functionality so that I will continue in the next video